Another way to illustrate um, categorical data is to use something called bar charts, or sometimes they're called bar graphs. And um, you can illustrate one variable at a time, or you can illustrate two. I've got the Titanic data here again, and as I showed you with the pie charts, uh, we could look at one variable. I've got my data here in columns 15 and 16, where all I'm looking at is class of people and the total count in each one of those classes. So uh, to illustrate those simple data, we would go to graph, oops, bar chart. You have to tell Minitab really how your data are arranged and they are arranged in a table, which appears down in our spreadsheet. And we have one column of numbers, and those numbers are in column C16. So I'm going to choose one column of values, and we simply want a simple bar graph. Say OK to this. Minitab wants to know where are the numbers. Well, their numbers are in column C16, and it wants to know what column defines the variables, and the variables are, or the categories, the categories are in class of people. Now, if I say OK to this, what I get out of here is that Minitab, or this graph, simply illustrates the the height of each one of these bars represents the number of people in each of these classes. You can use the count or what's sometimes referred to as the frequency. Uh, many times people want to discuss this in terms of the percent. So if I shrink this down and I go back into last dialog box open, this time I go to chart options, I can get the program to calculate those counts as a percent. Say OK, OK, and here's my graph. This time the y-axis now tells me it's percent of count, and it gives me some indication down there of how the percentage was calculated. In other words, it took all the sum of all the numbers and divided, you know, the 325 by the 2201 and the 285 by the 2201 and came up with these um, percentages right here. And by the way, yes, if you mouse over, you will see what the actual percentages are. Okay, I'm going to close this video off right now and I'm going to do another video to show you how to handle two categorical variables, otherwise this thing will be about 15 minutes long.